So what will happen is for each one, when we click on here, uh, that should, no, it's not working, so I might just have an error in my code. Let's take a look. Um, min length equals, oh, sorry, I've said this val, I'm gonna say this cell. Uh, refresh that just click in here and you see that we get an alert dialog with five so let's go ahead now and uh, just get rid of that and we'll go ahead and refresh and click on this one here and you can see that we've got 10 so what we're doing is we're uh, successfully selecting the unique minimum length uh, for any field that we uh, sort of click on to uh, and that's going to be useful because we want to add this span afterwards now there's a few things we need to check for uh, the first one is uh, if the minimum length doesn't equal zero. The second one is if the minimum length is greater than zero, because obviously we can't specify a minimum length of zero. And also we want to check that the length of it is not uh, or is less than the minimum length. Uh, so let's go ahead and create our if statement. And we'll sort of put what I've said into practice. Uh, let's bring that down. And inside of our uh, condition, we need to say uh, if min length doesn't equal zero because we obviously want to uh, add the span afterwards if the min length is uh, you know some has some kind of value and also when the min length is uh, if the min length is greater than zero because we don't want our uh, our users to specify a min length of zero and we also want to check that this underscore cell dot value uh, that just takes the contents of the text field and then we're using the original javascript dot length function uh, and we want to make sure that that is um, less than the minimum length uh, and essentially what this is going to do is it's not going to show the span if the text is uh, greater uh, if the text is greater than the specified minimum length uh, like I said earlier in the example we don't want to keep pestering our users with a message if their text is over the minimum length so if the, all these are true, we want to go ahead and use this underscore cell dot um, after. We're using the after function. What this is essentially going to do is add an element straight or directly after this element here. Uh, let's just go ahead and refresh that to get rid of our previous code. Uh, so after, what do we want to add? Well, we want to add a span to, or a couple of span tags. So with this, when we click on this, uh, the span tags will be generated. Let's just go ahead and put some test content in there for now and press F5. Click on that and you see we get test after each one. Uh, and obviously they're just being added sort of after each time, but we can uh, do something to fix this. Uh, but for now, what we want to do is we want to uh, sort of display some relevant data. So what I want to do is I want to say uh, append on um, min length. And then I'm going to say characters required uh, and just have a space after that span there so now what's going to happen is uh, back to our tech, uh, our browser when I click on it it says five characters required and when I click on this it says ten characters required so we've sort of added that functionality in quite easily what I now want to go ahead and do is uh, avoid this problem of the duplication of the span so we want to add another event handler after um, dot focus and this is blur so uh, inside of here, uh, essentially all we really want to do is, let's just line that up. All we want to do is go ahead and say this underscore cell dot next, which is a directory traversing function. So the next element after this current element, which is obviously our input field. Uh, so essentially next uh, is our span that we've created up here. And then we want to just say remove, and that will just remove that element entirely. So now when we click it and we navigate away, i.e. we blur, uh, that will disappear whether we navigate to sort of you know the next field or, or whether we tab down to another field or tab back up to a field. So we've got that functionality in there quite nicely. Now all we need to do is go ahead and add the functionality of when a user is typing to remove this message uh, if they have successfully typed more than the specified minimum characters. So just before this I'm going to go ahead and use a key up function or the key up event handler and inside here create a function just bring that down uh, so it looks quite untidy but essentially all that we're doing is we are sort of binding on different event handlers uh, we want to go ahead and include an if statement here and this is going to be let's uh, add the condition it's going to be if this underscore cell remember selecting the current thing or the current element dot value dot length so the length as we specified up here we use the same thing it'd probably be better to go ahead and put this in a variable somewhere um, but for now obviously because we're focusing on then we're uh, sort of using the length uh, we need to sort of regenerate this data 
Uh, if it's uh, greater than or equal to the minimum length, i.e. has the user typed either exactly five characters or exactly ten characters or more characters, uh, then we can go ahead and use this, um, sorry, this underscore cell dot next dot remove as we did down here as we blurred away. So if the current uh, va length of the value is greater than or equal to the minimum length specified, we remove the span as well. So now, as well as clicking in and removing it as we blur out, when we type something in here, so some text, you can see that uh, it's removed. Um, so for example, Alex, uh, let's just get rid of that. Uh, as we were to come in here and say, Alex, there we go, so it removes it. And then obviously when we tab down and we click back in, because uh, we've deleted this text, it says five characters required. So that's uh, sort of a quick example. There are probably better ways to do this, but it's a quick example of sort of how we can uh, pop together things like this type of selector, uh, use a bit of directory traversing, and uh, also some quick, simple logic to uh, work out the lengths uh, and apply this span afterwards as well. So that's just a quick example of uh, a minimum text length checker uh, and how you would do that in jQuery.